Hello to all of my friends in the Elk Ridge Stake. My name is Carolyn Curtis and I reside in the Elk Ridge 4th Ward, although we have been serving in the beautiful Care Center 9th Branch and so many of my ward fam family probably don't even know who I am. But I'm grateful to have this opportunity to share just a little bit today. When Sister um, Peterson contacted me and asked me if I would take just a couple of minutes and share with you what I am learning, I was delighted. I said I would be happy to because anytime someone asks me to share what I'm learning about Jesus Christ, I'm all in. So I was thinking about when President Nelson talked to us about the challenge to hear him with greater detail. And as most of you probably did, just like me, we sort of assessed where we were at in our lives. And quite frankly, I was a little disappointed with mine. And the, the times that I thought I had really understood Revelation just for me. And so I thought about a couple of things that I decided I wanted to do with greater effort. And that one of those was that I wanted to remove anything from my life that was keeping the Holy Ghost from being able to talk to me and give me insight and understanding. And I made a great resolve to do just that. And my activities have changed a little bit in that there are things that I don't look at anymore. There are things that I don't watch on TV. There are just activities that I have removed so that I feel like I have greater opportunity to hear what the Holy Ghost has to say to me. The second thing is that I am one of those lucky women who, when the temple opened to phase two, I was one of those who was invited back. And that was such a joy to me, such a blessing in my life. In fact, at the time that the email came through, I was in Florida helping my son. And they said, you need to be here for a Sunday meeting. And I said, what if I'm not? And they said, well, we just need you to be. So I booked a flight home so that I could be at that temple meeting. And so grateful that I did. I didn't know how soon the temple would move to phase three. And I didn't want to be denied that blessing of serving in God's house any longer. So with that great blessing came the opportunity for me to try even more to hear him and to understand my temple blessings better because I, like all of you, my last day at the temple was March 24th. That was a Tuesday. That was my shift. And on the 25th, the temples closed. And it wasn't until August that we were allowed to go back in and help with own endowments for people. So I wanted to have greater knowledge greater understanding in the temple than I had had previously as a worker. Um, my efforts, my, my meager efforts have paid off greatly, and that is one of the things that I understand about Heavenly Father. When we, when we give a small effort, He couples that and brings about great results. So one of the greatest things that I have realized over the past few months is that temple ordinances quicken our human souls and bring us, if we will, so close to God that we may clasp hands with him. And those of you who've been to the temple like me understand that. But I understand it now with greater knowledge than I ever have before in all my years of going to the temple and serving in the temple. Sisters, I testify that marvelous blessings can come to us by taking the counsel of our prophet and applying those things in our lives. I love my Heavenly Father and my Savior, and I'm grateful for the gift of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.